Hi everyone, welcome to another tutorial and today I'll be discussing on how to clean out your airbrush in between paint changes while you're painting your models. Now this tutorial is going to be about quick changing, not, not thorough cleaning, so I'll, I'll cover that in another tutorial, but um, for this one, quite simple, all you need is obviously is your airbrush that you've been using. As you can see I've been painting with a bit of uh, green lacquer paint in there. Um, I've got an old jar here, as you can see I've written on top of used thinners, this is what I pour my used thinners into. I've got some thinners here, um, now this depends on what type of paint you're using. I've been using a lacquer paint, so these are, these are a lacquer thinner. Um, if you're going to be using an acrylic, for example, um, I'd suggest using a, instead of using a lacquer thinner, don't use that, use a something like a Windex window cleaner that has ammonia in it, um, that'll help clean it out a bit better. So, but in this case, we'll be doing, we'll be cleaning this out after using a lacquer paint. Now, also a small brush and a rag. So, I've finished using this colour. So what I'm going to do is just get a little bit up in here in the dropper. You don't need a dropper, but I use it. It's a lot easier for me to use a dropper, and you'll see why in a second. Just shoot a little bit in, and then probably do a little bit more than that. So, so you got a little bit of thinner in the bottom of the cup. Now, using your brush, use just brush the thinner up the sides of the cup. Now the reason for this is um, you don't that way you do this you don't have to uh, fill the entire cup up with thinners to get everything out. You can just brush the thinners up the side of the cup and loosen the paint that way. So as you can see now, all of that has gone into the bottom. So now we'll just tip that out like so, and everything will fall back down into the bottom. And we'll fill it up again with one, maybe two. And you can see it's still a bit murky. So what we're going to do now is what's called bubbling. So we take our, our rag on our finger and then we place it over the edge to create a seal. Now as I push down the air, nothing happens, but as I pull back the paint, it bubbles back. What that, that's doing is just pushing all the paint that's inside back out into into that thinner mix. So we'll tip that out again. So it's starting to look clean. So you can use your rag with your finger just to wipe out a bit of the excess. But you'll find there's still a little bit off. So if I spray this now, we've still got paint in there. So we're going to repeat the process again. Not as much thinner this time. So you can see it's still coming up murky. And keep repeating. And again, that just loosens that paint off. Not as much coming out now. So we repeat again. And we want to keep doing this just until all that colour paint is gone. Or nearly, nearly gone. So it's almost gone now. So probably another go. We'll get rid of it all. So this also depends on what type of paint you'll be using next. So you're going from a colour such as this or something into a white or a light grey. You obviously don't want any colour mixed in. So you want to make sure it's as clean as possible. But if you're going from like a light colour to a darker colour, it's not going to matter as much. Um, or if you're going to just going to a black, for example. So as I spray it out, just spraying straight thinners. We'll just give it one more, just to be sure. Um, yeah, so if, you want to, if you're going to black, you're not going to have to be as thorough as, thorough as this. Um, but if you're going to a lighter colour as a white, you definitely do. So as I spray this, I'll spray it onto this rag so it's a bit easier to see. That's just spraying clear thinners now. So, 
that's how you do a uh, color change in between paint uh, while you while you're painting your models. Um, if this was at the end of the session and you weren't ready to do a, a deep clean, you'd do this process. And also at the very end, I've got some uh, just some water in here. Pour that water in, and then bubble it back as well. And what that does is just washes the thinners out. Now, if you're wondering why we need to do this, um, it's because the thinners, if the thinners are left, because everything, uh, all the air seals are rubber, um, and if the lack of thinners are left to, left um, exposed to the lack of thinner for too long, they will dry out and they will start to leak air. And if they, don't, if they start to leak air, some of them will start to leak paint and then it will just make an absolute mess. You'll have to replace all your seals and possibly ruin your airbrush. So um, it's always best once you do all this, make sure you flush everything out with the water and just because it's water, I'll spray into this rag. Just spray it out into the rag. Don't have to bubble it back anymore. We've bubbled it back, so we'll just spray that out. That will just, as I said, wash all the thinners through and wash it all out, and that'll stop it from damaging the internal seals. So thank you very much for watching. Um, we'll see you next time with another tutorial.